You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, I'm pretty sure by now that everybody has gotten the word that Shannon Sharp is actually going to be leaving undisputed Skip and Shannon after the NBA Finals. Now, this was not a surprise to me. Maybe the time was actually a bit surprising, but I fully expected Shannon Sharp to actually leave this show sometime this year. After what happened with uh, DeMar Hamlin, it became pretty obvious and pretty public that um, Skip and Shannon really weren't on the same page. I believe that their working relationship was on thin ice. And then Shannon Sharp, he wanted a way out. And now Fox, they're going to buy this contract and we don't know what's actually going to happen with uh, Shannon Sharp. Of course, he still has his podcast, so I'm pretty sure that he's actually going to be doing that. However, guys, Skip Bayless needs a new debate partner. Who will it be? I'm not really sure. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure that um, Fox actually thought about this here and it's probably been in a word. So I'm willing to bet for probably the last month. But Skip does need a new debate partner because the show is actually built around debate. He needs someone to actually debate. Who will it be? That is a problem, probably, guys, because check this out. Look at this. Troubling details emerge from Skip Bayless situation at Fox Sports. Now, Skip Bayless, guys, is definitely a different kind of guy. This is a man that puts his job first and his wife second. He told his wife that he said, you will always be second to this. You know, doing his job, uh, doing debate. He loves it. So let's go ahead and read some of this, guys. With Shannon Sharp reportedly set to leave undisputed, Skip Bayless is in need of a new debate partner. According to the latest report from Michael McCarthy of uh, Front Office Sports, finding one could be an issue. The main problem is that because of Bayless's demanding and micromanaging style, few people are willing to work with him. Now, when he went over to um, to FS1, Skip Bayless, from ESPN, it's his show. He's the man on that show. And I called Skip Bayless the godfather of debate. I mean, ESPN took cold pizza, which was already a successful show, and they pretty much eliminated that show and centered it around Skip Bayless and they rose to the top. They were number one because of that. He is the godfather of debate. Now, Skip Bayless handpicked Shannon Sharp to actually come on that show with him for the past seven years. Skip Bayless is running undisputed. I mean, the name of the show is actually called Skip and Shannon, not Shannon and Skip. Skip Bayless's name is first on there. And I believe, folks, that on that show would probably die if Skip Bayless wasn't on there. I'm just being real. But um, anyway, let's go on. It says here, quote, Bayless fantasies himself the king of embrace debate. He's never really gotten along with his debate partners except for his brother from another mother, Stephen A. Smith, at ESPN. Yeah, that's true. We know how Skip and um, Stephen A. actually feel about each other. They are like brothers. Stephen A. Smith tried to actually recruit Skip Bayless to come back. And work at ESPN. ESPN was so desperate, guys, they were actually going to allow Skip Bayless to remain at Fox and do Undisputed. Yeah, that's how desperate they were for this guy. Uh, the 71 year old Bayless is currently in the middle of a four year, $32 million extension he inked with Fox in 2021. He is expected to have the final say in whoever replaces Sharp who has agreed to a buyout with Fox and will lead the network after the NBA finals in later this month. Adding to the reported drama between Bayless and Sharp is the fact the Hall, Hall of Fame tight end liked a tweet suggesting that his co-host might be jealous of the personal brand he was building. And we got it right here, guys. Now, on Twitter, you can actually see what people are actually liking. This is Shannon Sharp's official Twitter account. 
and look right here. It shows that he actually did like this tweet uh, from this guy, uh, Dylan uh, Patrick H., who writes, their relationship got progressively uh, worse over the last two, maybe three years because Skip fought uh, for him to be on that show. But I feel like Skip couldn't stand Shannon succeeding without. And that's when Skip was uh, taking pot shots on the air. Now, Skip being jealous of um, Shannon, honestly, guys, I never got that kind of feeling. I mean, Shannon and Skip, they're two different guys. And actually, guys, when the Super Bowl was out here in um, in uh, Houston, I was actually at one of the tapings of uh, Undisputed. And I was actually sitting on um, behind uh, Skip Bayless a couple rows back. And when the cameras weren't rolling, Skip was very, very lively, you know, with the audience and everything. Sh Shannon was kind of like, hey, I'm a Hall of Famer. Um, don't really bother me. He wasn't really engaged with the crowd whatsoever. I mean, they're two totally different people, guys. But Shannon Sharp did like this tweet right here. Skip Bayless, he's a different kind of guy. When it comes to this, man, he lives and breathes and eat the, eats this thing all day long. I believe that um, Skip, he gets up like at 2 a.m. to work out. And then after that, he starts prepping for the show. He goes all day, every day, doesn't stop and completely puts his wife second. And they say that Skip Bayless is in the micromanaging. I can believe that. So I believe there's very, very few people that um, Fox can actually go out there and get. And one more thing, guys, look at this. It says a source also told McCarthy that um, Bayless will not approve of hiring someone who challenges him. And here's the kicker. You have to be willing to work with Skip. You're going to have to put up with some uh, shit. He has to approve of you and you have to get up at 3.30 in the morning. That may be a problem for some people. Uh, Skip and Shannon have been co-hosting Undisputed since September of 2016. One person that Rhodes actually mentioned on um, a video he just dropped not long ago was actually Michael Irvin, the playmaker. I believe, you know, that probably could actually work out. That could probably work. But the thing is, though, Michael Irvin right now seems to be a pariah in the sports media. He's dealing with his own drama out there. He's still employed by um, NFL Network, but um, but he's still on the sideline from the whole Super Bowl thing. And Michael Irvin is actually uh, suing uh, Marriott. You guys know, actually know about that. Another person is Stephen A. Smith. However, He's under contract with ESPN. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see who Skip Bayless knows. I didn't say Fox, who Skip Bayless decides to actually pick to replace Shannon Sharp. I don't know, guys, I haven't really given this much thought uh, because we just found out that Shannon is um, leaving um, today. Actually, last night, he came out late last night and um, I was already asleep when I actually um, when the news actually dropped. And I got up this morning. I was like, whoa. This is real. Shannon Sharp is gone. I mean, Antonio Brown is out there flirting with him. Hey, put me on. I can't take that seriously. And also, I don't see Fox actually doing that. I don't think uh, Skip Bayless is actually going to allow Antonio Brown to actually be a part of Undisputed. I don't think it's going to happen. I believe that the final say really ends up landing with um, Skip Bayless. He's going to need um, somebody that um, he has chemistry with. Nobody had um, better chemistry with him than um, than Stephen A. Smith. But Stephen A. Smith is under contract with um, with uh, ESPN. And I know that also Stephen A. Smith, he's talked about some other aspirations, you know, beyond ESPN. I don't think he wants to stay there forever. I think he wants to do some other other things, too. So we will actually have to see, guys, what actually happens. But this is going to be very, very interesting, guys, to actually see. Who ends up replacing uh, Shannon Sharp? But apparently uh, Skip Bayless is definitely hard to work with because of his style. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know. Stick about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.
Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.